Ranked the most accurate forecast in Central Texas by weather rate. This is Fox 44 Weather with AMS Certified Chief Meteorologist Mike LaPointe. It has been a very pleasant Friday night. I hope you're enjoying it. Skies right now are clear to partly cloudy. Most of those clouds are starting to exit central Texas, and uh, we are starting to see more of a northerly wind kind of kick in here, bringing some drier air. There's the front, and out ahead of the front, showers and thunderstorms. Boy, it's been a busy night for the guys down in San Antonio. I'm talking about the National Weather Service there with all kinds of watches and warnings going on there. Heavy rainfall, but again, not much going on as you work your way farther back up to the north in our area. As I get you in a little bit closer, again, pretty quiet conditions here. You can see some hit and miss, very light showers just to the south of the Colleen area, south of Temple. Again, this is very, very light, and not much of it is making it to the ground. And another spot that I was keeping a close eye on, the Brazos Valley, most of that, too, has kind of sagged down just to the south, again, right along of 45, and that's all kind of pushing away. So I think, generally speaking, we are looking at the clearing skies for the rest of the evening. We've got 87 degrees right now in the Waco area. It is 82 in Colleen, 82 degrees right now in Temple. Temperatures about the same out west, 82 up toward the Comanche area, and College Station checks in right at 81 degrees. Humidity is starting to go down, so that is definitely some good news. Our air temperature feels about the same as our heat index value. 88 here in Waco, as well as Mejia, 86 in the Palestine area, and right now down in Caldwell, it feels like 84 degrees. As we Look ahead here. I expect again any cloud cover that you see out there right now will start to thin out. So the sky is becoming mostly clear. And by early tomorrow morning, this is at seven o'clock tomorrow morning, temperatures will be in the upper 60s and lower 70s. So a very refreshing start tomorrow morning. You grab your cup of coffee, maybe go outside, sit on the patio because we're looking at low humidity and temperatures uh, very pleasant as we kick off the weekend. By lunchtime, mostly sunny skies. Temperatures will be in the upper 80s. And by the afternoon, we're going to make mid 90s for the good part of the afternoon hours. There could be an isolated cloud here or there, but again, nothing in the way of any precipitation. And, and really, our temperatures tomorrow in the mid to maybe upper 90s in some places will actually feel like that. With the lower dew point temperatures, we're not going to be talking about the 100s. We're going to be talking about what it actually is out there. As we uh, check out our map here for early in the morning on Sunday, clear skies. Again, a pretty nice start, upper 60s to lower 70s. And then as we go throughout the day on Sunday, we're going to see a little bit more of a way of a warm air kind of push up those temperatures a little bit. So maybe mid to upper 90s for highs on Sunday. Still not too humid right now across the area. A few clouds here and there, but uh, generally speaking, I think this is going to be a really nice looking weekend, especially for August 1st and 2nd. As for tonight, though, we have a few clouds out there right now, a few sprinkles south of Colleen. That will all diminish, so skies becoming mostly clear, very quiet, 71 degrees, the low temperature, winds very light out of the north at 4 to 8 miles per hour, and then tomorrow mostly sunny. Skies are looking pretty good, about 96 degrees, the high with a north wind at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Now, as we look ahead here, take a look here. This is the Lockridge Priest Home Services Long Range 10-Day Forecast, and you'll notice quiet weather on Monday. There's actually a weak front that moves through overnight Monday into Tuesday. I think we're going to have just no moisture to work with, so I, I didn't even put any rain in there on Monday or Tuesday. Notice the temperature drop just a little bit on Tuesday. On Wednesday, about 97 degrees, and then the general trend there as we look at the 8, 9, and day 10 of our long day uh, long range forecast here we start to go back up into the upper 90s for highs those nighttime lows will be in the 70s and over toward Bryan and College Station just a slight chance of an isolated sprinkle Saturday and Sunday nothing major but 100 on Monday the front moves through and then slightly cooler and again as we hit the uh, Kind of the end of next week, we're talking days 8, 9, and 10 there. We're talking temperatures very seasonal in the mid-90s. Nighttime lows will be in the 70s, but uh, you can't really expect too, bad, too uh, much of a, a bad weekend when you're talking temperatures in the 90s and our dew points in the 50s, you know?